Today I'm gonna be yassifying famous logos. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tylee Talk. And on this channel, I design, redesign, critique, do all kinds of fun stuff with logos. So if that's something you're into, then definitely feel free to subscribe. Okay, so first I just want to preface that I like to make these just for fun. So none of this needs to be taken too seriously. I just loved that trend of yassifying different photos that was going around on Twitter and TikTok a while ago. And since I do things with logos on my channel, I decided to do this just for fun. So I have a lot of fun making these, but since I'm not really gonna be using these as real logos or for anything else, I do a lot of these on my iPad in Procreate. Each logo needs a different approach because some logos are very realistic. And so for those, I like to give it more of like a painterly, brushed on type of feel, whereas some logos are more line driven and flat colors. So for those, I try to stick within that style and do mostly line work. Also, this is part two of this series, so if you wanna watch part one, I will put it right above. Okay, the first one I did was Quaker, and this one I mostly just used the airbrush brush on Procreate to make it look like he had actual makeup on. So I started by contouring and highlighting, then I added in eyeliner and lashes. I also added eyebrows and lips. I always have to add highlights to the lips because I just feel like the yassification also includes lip gloss in my mind. Um, and this one actually came out a lot better than I thought. She's definitely feeling her oats. <laughs> Up next I did Monopoly, so I decided to make his mustache be his lips, actually. And I made them this bright red to match the red of the logo, carved out his face, gave him acrylics, gave him some curves, and here is that one finished. These lips are ridiculous. I also did planners, which actually looks pretty similar to the Monopoly Man. And I mostly just used black to redo the eyes, add the lips, add nails. Then I added some shine to the whole thing and she is definitely one of the fiercest ones of the day. I'm realizing how much I've actually learned from beauty YouTubers because a lot of this is actually just like contouring and adding makeup and eyeliner and lashes and I wouldn't have known any of that if it wasn't from YouTube. So I use these same techniques to airbrush on Mrs. Clean as I'll call Mr. Clean's alter ego. So she felt like she was missing something um, in the end so I included some hoops for her. I did the same thing for Thomas the Tank Engine. His eyes are huge so the liner and the lashes were a little harder for this one but I love the final result. Since football started back up this weekend, I only know this because because a friend told me I don't actually watch football, but I decided to do some NFL teams because a lot of their logos actually use a mascot as the main logo. So these are like a very different kind of one of those line art driven ones with a lot of them sticking to a very minimal color palette. So for these, I decided to do that kind of style for all of them. So for the Eagles one, I gave her a little blue shadow and some lashes, blush, and a matching lip. The Patriots logo really needed the lips accentuated because they were very small uh, and you can't be a material girl with small lips. That's the main thing I did for the Patriots one. For the Vikings though, I decided to do like a total facelift. We kind of completely had to do some plastic surgery to get rid of this mustache and I added these lashes which really opened up her eyes and the contour and the highlights really just brought out her amazing bone structure that I already had going on. The Panthers one was hard since it's already kind of a fierce cat woman look, but I decided to use this blue color on the whole thing to really carve out the nose, give the eyes some shape and some lashes, contour the cheeks, add a lip and hoops as well. This one is definitely one of my favorites. I put this in a TikTok and everyone was saying they wanted her on a t-shirt and I agree. I did look into it though and copyright laws would not allow me to sell that. These sports ones though are some of definitely my favorite ones from today, mostly because I just know how seriously sports fans take their team and I just find it funny imagining them seeing how these ones came out. Okay, then I did Toucan Sam, which is more of a mascot and less of a logo, but I thought it would be fun to use those little feathers that are on the very top and kind of make that look like eyebrows. So I redid those. I also had the opportunity with him to give some acrylics both on the fingers and the toes. The little Bic guy I thought would be funny because the outfit is already kind of giving share from Clueless. So I decided to lean into that kind of schoolgirl outfit and I gave some lashes to this eyeball thingy that he has. I'm not sure if it actually is an eyeball or if it's more like a highlight, but 
We gave it some lashes and I also added on a lip and then I gave some heels and a more womanly figure. And this one turned out so cute. It's definitely one of my favorite ones from today. Lastly, I did some more of these like simpler ones that only have silhouettes and one color. So for Android, I decided to use the white line in the middle as kind of like a mouth opening and added some lips here. I carved out the hint of some details in the face and gave her a tiny little waist. And I love how this one came out. I also decided to do DreamWorks, which in my head, the DreamWorks guy is very like 3D, but the actual logo is actually just a blue silhouette. So I kind of had to do the same things for this one. I decided to kind of redefine the nose and the lips. I also snatched her waist a bit too. And I gave her some longer hair, some nails, and finally accessorized the whole look with some hoops and some high heels. Also, I'm not really sure what happened here. I think my camera cut out or something, but I also did the Snapchat ghost and this one was really just for fun, but I really like how she came out too. I just have so much fun making all of these characters. I did it on live actually last week. So if you ever want to be involved in a video or give me some ideas for a future video, definitely watch the live every week. I go live every Wednesday. As far as favorites from today goes, I actually love how much the DreamWorks girl turned out. I think her accessories really add something to it. And it's just really fun to me to see how just changing slight parts of a silhouette can make it look like a completely different character. I also love the Quaker Oats girl. She definitely had me quaking. Oh brother, this guy stinks! And for the sports ones, those ones just came out so funny to me. I really like the Viking and the Panthers one. Which of these Yassified logos is your favorite? Definitely let me know down in the comments and also feel free to drop in there which logos I said Yassify in the future. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one.